Come on. We're getting some pinching in the back, uh, and it's kind of an empty end feel, meaning when we flex it, um, we're not, I'm not really feeling any tissue resistance, yet uh, you're experiencing some sharp pain in the back of your knee. My con uh, our cons consensus or concern is that it's due to some laxity within the actual tibial femoral joint. So when we, go ahead, I'm going to pull this other leg up. And so if I do a, a anterior and posterior drawer on the knee, I'm, I'm getting a, a decent amount of play in the joint as far as like the anterior to posterior motion. And if you hold on to the table. So when she stabilizes, we see it a little bit more. There's no pain with it, but um, we're definitely getting a, a little bit more glide. And if I come around to the other side. Turn it up at the same angle, still holding. So there's a glide there. There's the knee itself seems a little bit more stable than does this side. And our suspicion is that the tibia is sitting a little bit more posterior on her right side than it is on the left, causing the, the uh, encroachment and or pinching sensation of the soft tissue between the condyles and the tibia. So our premise for this, so if we look at what is passive knee flexion, can you go as far as you can? All right, so right there. And what do you feel? If you can point to where your pain's at. Yeah, so, and we can try and palpate it, but we've been unsuccessful in doing so. Yeah, right there, okay. So it's a, a little bit further than when we started the session, but we're at about 120. And then pause. Okay, so now we're providing a uh, posterior to anterior glide of the proximal tibia. You're gonna let us know when you start to feel that pinching sensation. All right? Okay. Mm -hmm. You okay right now? Uh -huh. All right, we're gonna go nice and slow. Nothing. You're going to feel pressure. No, no, don't, don't help. Don't help. Mm. Mm. Okay, relax. relax. Mm. And then pull a little more. Yeah. Right. Mm. Yep. Okay. Relax. There you go. Mm. No, don't assist. Don't assist. Tamen, tamen akaro inadda komar wale. What do you feel? That's the spot. Okay. And then, uh, Bill, I'm going to just measure if you want to just uh, plant one hand there so she doesn't come out of it. Mm -hmm. an extra 10 degrees when we provide the anterior glide. Yeah. All right. And then previously we've done this within this session and we got to 132. And so the biggest concern is just making sure that the knee is mechanically stable and that uh, the range of motion is going to respond con uh, with con ongoing conservative management, but this has been essentially a bottleneck and a limiting factor for gaining flexion. And then when going downstairs, uh, having to control the femur on the tibia has also been a source of pain for the patient.